Okay, so I just saw it. Well, Caden and I. Caden. Yep, Caden. Uh, clean the house. Caden is bored, of course. I watched videos, and I had to put something of mine, of real people. Um, What's that? One guy, he's doing fathering autism or something like that. Well, and it shows about uh, him hi. and his wife and his son his and son. his daughter who has autism, who's nonverbal, okay. who uh, is hi. just, you know, they're showing their lifestyle. And then he's playing video games on a big, huge TV. Yeah. One of those curved TVs and stuff. And I'm like, oh my God, this is not real. This is real. This is this is real. I have a real 12-year-old boy who Mommy. I have cartoons on and, and Disney Channel. And sometimes he'll watch it, sometimes he doesn't. Now, today, we are doing kind of therapy. Um, he has, yeah, he has clothespins at therapy. Okay, put it on her ear. Okay, put more. Put more. That's a sensory. If people do not know why he covers his ears, it's about a sensory disorder. Um, this, hey, get, pick up your clothespins and put them back in the bag. You do more. Um, he'll do he'll do an activity for a bit and then he'll move on. Um, this is what we go through, and. His his normal routines of what his um what his his paranoia not paranoia but obsession is is those little things that I don't know if you can see them those they're in our yard yeah nobody cares nobody cares but it's it's his obsession. Try to clean my house up. This is this is my house. This is my house with a twelve year old autistic child who sits here and Yeah. Who who will make a mess and I have to pick it up. Trying to keep him occupied is another story. Play with your tubes or, or your clothespins. Don't. Can you play can you play with your clothespins and put them on kitty? Or do you want to put them on a pillow? Or what do you want to put them on? A no. towel? No. Okay. Then get more and put them on there. Mm -hmm. So, I'm just really confused because this fathering autism. Yeah, I see. Good job. Fathering <laughs> autism is, is showing all this stuff of... Okay, well, we're doing this and we're doing that. It it doesn't show anything of the behaviors, the struggles that they have to go it. through for schools oh, and doing oh, that. Hey. Yeah, doing the IEP meetings. Nothing wrong with the IEP meetings at all. Don't get me wrong on that. Don't attack me. Um, no, no. Uh, trying to get therapy for him. Trying to get his behavior under control and. They don't show the behaviors of, you know, this this child with autism. Yep, I see. This child with autism throwing his behaviors of uh, hitting, kicking, poking, scratching, being rude. Um, they don't show the kid getting up several times in the middle of the night. They don't show... Um, Oh, guess what? You, uh, Miss Frank, you have to, yep, you have to take, um, your child to school because he can't ride the van because his behavior's on the van. So you have to drive your child to school every day because of his behaviors. Um, take your child to the dentist. That's a real chore. Yeah, I see. Good job. Um, where you have to hold him down, and then you end up leaving bruises on his arms from holding him down in the chair. Are you talking to Just keep doing your thing. And, um, because they're trying to clean his teeth, you know? And trying to brush your child's teeth, 
that I mean, doesn't like healthy. yep that doesn't like to have its teeth brushed but you got to get them brushed because you don't need cavities mm -hmm. because imagine trying to fill his twice trying to fill a child's teeth mm, or tooth I should say try, trying to fill a child's tooth and that's and one and that needs and a and filling and because he's got a cavity put it on paw yes mm -hmm. and the insurance won't pay yeah. for putting them under one tooth so so then um you have to figure out what you're going to do so they can sedate them which then you have more behaviors so put it on kitty's tail maybe the kitty's tail will fit so you have to figure out that so living with a child with autism is not easy and the biggest thing that i get into is People will sit there and say, you need to put them in an institution. You need to put them in residential care. No. Why? Because you don't. Um, keep on? Yeah, keep on. You need, to, you need to put them in a group home. One, there is no group homes. I don't know what these people are thinking of. Of Oh, you need to put them in residential care. You need to put them in an institution. There is no institution. And there is no residential home because the residential home for these kids are full because the kids that are in there are children that have feeding tubes or in wheelchairs and stuff like that. They do not. Yeah. You try the owl. What's that? No, you try the owl. Um, they don't, they don't take care of children who have behavior problems and you're stuck with them. You are literally stuck with them. I have taken him to to the ER and said, I need no. him to be institutionalized. I need for him to be in the, you know, I need help. I need help. And while I'm at, while I'm asking this, pleading for help, he's attacking me. They see this. There's nothing they can do. Okay, no. Yep, I'm okay. And um, they look at me and say, there's nothing we can do. You know, well, I, I'm sorry. You, you'll just have to deal with it. He'll be put on a wait list. Wait list for where? There's nothing. Uh, no, no. Yeah. Put it on owl now. And uh, it's just crazy. And then the, you know, like I said, the residential homes, they are for children that have feeding tubes or wheelchairs or walkers. And they are not for uh, children like Caden. Who is semi-verbal? He he, uh, I can't do it. Put it on his wing. Um, he can talk, but he can't. He doesn't have the verbal pronunciation. Yes, I see pronunciation of a lot of things. So I want people to really think about this of what what you know us people who have children who have autism, who have the sensory processing disorder, the OCD, the behavior know. problems, and all this other stuff. I want you to really think about that. Yeah. And the ones that have just regular autism that don't have behaviors, you are so lucky. So lucky. Okay. Yeah. Put it on kitten. Because... You don't have to deal with what we have to deal with, and you don't have to go, okay, I'm getting an ulcer. I need to take some Tums. The Tums don't work. Go to the doctor. You can't go to the doctor because, yes. We got it. Because uh, some little boy is obsessed with stuff in the doctor's office of a garbage can and tissue box. And if he doesn't get his way, he throws himself down. Uh-huh. Yeah. Why? Don't you? Why? Because he has to have it. And then people look. That's that's the biggest thing. Okay. People look and stare. And then, of course, it's always, you need to discipline him. You need to give him a spanking. Hey. And, and uh, you need to tell him no. And Well, you know what? I can go, Caden, no, no. No, no. And he's just looking at me and smiling and just going to laugh at me. Going, ha, ha, you're funny, Mom, because I'm going to get what I want. Well, Mom. Yep. So there's a lot of times that he will okay. he will sit there and him. scream for no reason. Why? I don't know why. Why mom? I don't know why. Why am I? And put no, put it here. 
Kitten? And, yep, yeah, kitten. And, um, kitten. yeah. Kitten. People will sit there and, and stop and stare and look and why is he doing it? Or give me a funny look or make fun of huh? him and stuff. Lucy. And Lucy. I can sit there and tell him, Lucy. quiet, don't use, Lucy. don't do that. Well. What did I say? Lucy. Use your voice. Use your words. Lunch? Yeah, well, use your words, don't I? Lock and him. Yeah, lock and him. And his hey. favorite things to do is to go see the barges. Why? Um. Okay. To go see the barges, yeah. And what barges come through the Ew. lock and dam? Look at me. Mm. Look at me. Look at me. Woohoo. Look at me. What barges come through? Ew. Who look at me, not look at me, not down there. Look at me. What barges come Ew. through? Ingram. And what Marquette. else? And look at me and tell me. Marquette. Marquette. Yeah. Mm. That those are his two favorite ones are Ingram and Marquette. No, you don't gonna put those on mine. And there's other ones too. There's Tennessee gonna... Valley and and other ones that I I don't know. He'll he'll know, but he likes going there, but anymore and gas prices have gone so high and we can't afford to go. And then there's uh, behavior problems of him getting out of his seat and literally attacking me while I'm driving. Oh, no. Yeah, oh, no. So, it's like, what do you do? Yeah, and then that's another thing is, okay. oh, well, okay, okay, he's got, yeah, stop. He's got the waiver. Okay, well, waiver don't pay for his seatbelt. Waiver don't pay for his safety harness. And you have to go through this other program to where, guess what? It's another oh. waiting list. Put it back in there. So another waiting list that we have to wait on. While in the meantime, I have to take them to doctor's appointments and therapy and <laughs> try to get groceries, which I have to order everything online because he throws his fit in the store. So I can't go there either. So yes. we pick it up and then he yes. sits there and throws his fit again. Because he can't go in and throws his fit in the car, which, guess what? Another attack! Just love driving, just love going Hi, anywhere mommy. when he just Hi, does mommy. not listen. Hi, and he wants Hi, to mommy. throw his fit. And Hi, mommy. Hi, mommy. So when people sit there and, and judge me Hi, because they say, well, Hi, she Hi, needs mommy. to do this with them or Hi, she mommy. needs to be calm with them. And I can't. I, I try my very best in mommy. See my mommy. my mommy. days are numbered. See mommy. And yes, I have thought about committing suicide. Okay, yes, I don't care. People can turn me in and sit there and say, oh, she's threatening to commit suicide because she posted it on a video. I'm so depressed See because mommy. I have no life. I have nobody... That will sit there and watch him so I can go out to a movie or or go out to eat or just do something. I don't have anybody see, anymore. See so mommy. See mommy. it's just real frustrating. And see then mommy. trying to get him to watch a video, you know, it's Disney Junior or anything else. Peppa Pig. Nope, nope. It's got to be right beside me. Every yeah. single day. Yeah. I have my bedroom with him. I can't sleep no. with my boyfriend. I can't, you know, share no. our new bed together. No, I gotta I gotta stay in Caden's room because uh Caden elopes. I have these door locks that they need to be replaced Mommy. because they don't work anymore. Mommy. The hey, mommy. handles on the windows are off. I can't open the windows because he escapes through them. Why, mommy? All the doors in our house are locked. Mommy? Because he gets in them. Why, mommy? Why, Caden? I don't know. No. So. That's why I can't believe this man who sits there and posts about fathering autism. And there's more than this. There's more than, oh, just a happy life, happy wife. And, and she sells makeup and they live in a fancy home. 
because they're making money. If you want to talk to him, you have to send a, a message and you have to subscribe, which costs money to subscribe to his YouTube channel to where he has this blog or whatever. And he used to talk about you know, father and autism, and and he used to talk about his daughter and, and what the struggles they go through and, and sensory room. And you know what? It goes to, um, talks about his daughter for a little bit, and then he'll go on, oh, we're going to this restaurant, and we're going to uh, this meat market, and oh, this is where I buy your steaks at. Well, guess hey. what? Hey, Mom. I, half the time, I'm lucky hey, to Mom. buy him a freaking Happy Meal. And you know Mom. what? Happy Meal. Oh, wow. That's hey, a Mom. 10 cents burger. Mom. You know? Hey, Mom. And I can't buy him steak. Hey, and hey, most parents hey, who have Mom. autistic kids, they can't. They can't afford that stuff. Look at that, Mommy. And besides hey, Mommy. that, I have supplements besides, yeah, I see, besides his other medication that I give to him. I give him Epsom salt baths to help calm him down, to help him sleep. I have to buy melatonin because his, yes, because his medication doesn't keep him to sleep. So I'm spending about $75 a week on his supplements. No, you do it. Um, on his supplements, so figure $75 a week, take that times four, and then now gas prices are oh, almost five cherry. bucks an hour, huh? or five bucks a gallon, put it, put it on him. Huh? Yeah. And it, it just, it, it sucks. Mm, and when they're sitting there with this mm. big screen tv and he's playing video games and and it's like okay, how mom. do you do that I, mom, I, I, okay. I don't know how you do that and you're very lucky for, or for. Now, because most of us who have autistic kids or special needs okay. children yeah no you're fine um okay, mommy. special needs children i should say are mostly single mothers and every once in a while, you'll have a single father. Yep. Yeah, you'll have a single I father. But um, most of us are single mothers. And I have been told, one more time, and you guys have to find a place on your own. One more time, and that's I it. Know. You're fixing it. Mm -hmm. And this and that. So, Caden mm -hmm. jumps up and down and been told that I don't understand. Maybe it is. Maybe it does happen. I have no idea. But okay, he has Mom. to screw in the light bulbs in the ceiling because they come loose from Caden jumping. And Caden will get excited and he'll stomp his feet or he'll uh, jump up and down on the floor. So, hey, oh, well, hey, I have Mommy. to screw in the light bulbs. Hey, because he's jumping up hey, and down, mommy. and it's oh, from that. Mommy. And, hey, mommy. and you know, what? He's destroying this, and you'll have to find a new place. Hey, so, mommy. yeah, now hey, the rent's gone up and everything hey, else. So, hey, mommy. how do people afford hey, it? Hey, anyway, mommy. that is my vent. Mm -hmm. So, I know people are going to sit there and go, God, she bitches all the time. She, is she ever happy? Mm -hmm. Huh. <laughs> That's okay, funny. Mommy. Because you know what? Okay, you take care of him for a whole month. And tell me how you okay. do. Because, I mean, a lot of people will sit there and say, Oh, I've taken care of him for a day. He's not that bad. Okay, no, his call. moods change. Okay, his call. moods change. Okay, no, call. no. Mommy. His moods change every day. I mean, one minute he can be happy-go-lucky. The next time it is a total demon. And, I, demon. and I'm not... Yeah, demon. Mm -hmm. And I'm not kidding you because there'll be animal on TV, the Geico commercial. <laughs> and I'm like, look, it's Caden. And that's what Caden is. Mm -hmm. He's, he reminds me of animal a lot. But mm -hmm. anyway, yeah. and, and he loves animal. He loves... Well, who does animal have? Yeah. No, no, no. no. What, who is he looking for? Who does he call? Oh, no. Who does animal call that you really like? Yeah. That's white. My phone. 
No, that animal calls its white. Oh. And it hops around. Who's animal calling for? Caden. Who is animal calling for that's white? Oh, no. You do too. Play drums. Bunny? Yeah, he plays drums, yes. But animal calls for bunny? Mm -hmm. What does he say? I don't know. What does animal say? Bunny. Bunny. Oh, bunny. We're bunny. We're bunny. We're bunny. Oh, bunny. Uh uh. Yeah, uh -oh. it's okay. It's all right. It works. Oops, no. Anyway, that's my vent. Thanks yeah. for watching. Bye. Bye.